<clears throat> Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial based research channel and um, basically the channel is here to show you how you can start um, this research for yourself. Um, all questions answered. Um, yeah, no tricks, nothing hidden. So, um, we are going to be, this is part two of um, Miranda, I think, and this is Miranda. This is the image we're going to be looking at, um, which we are here. It's the Voyager 2. I always show these because I like them, but I don't like that one. Okay, right. Um, I'm going to be referring to the to the um, to part one as well. Um, I tried to get some sort of uh, um, similarities with some of the anomalies um, with the new one and the last one, which which we're which we're looking at there. So. I might get confused. Um, I've only just uh, sorted this out, so it could be a bit of uh, winging it. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Right, so like I said, we are looking at this one. This is what it is. This is the uh, the raw image. Uh, you can see it pixelating there. Very bleached out. The, the, this this uh, photo is blurred out and distorted all over the place. Um, and what I'll show you, which is quite interesting, that um, these two images were taken with the the same camera. So, and if you remember the first one, sorry, hold on a sec. If you remember the um, the first one, um, there's a huge amount of detail in it. Um, which was this one? I'm going to be. I'm going to be looking at this area here. <clears throat> um, we're going to make some reference to it. But if you remember rightly, just have a quick look in there. The amount of detail we were getting out in here um, was quite insane. Um, and that's why I was talking about the same cameras because the one we're going to be uh, looking at today is uh, this one. You can see how different it looks. Um, so here we go. That's it. And this is, I'll just show you this. It's interesting to uh, the, the lines you can see in the original photograph um, how they stay in the uh, the enhanced version now um, the difference between these images it I don't know it's probably just because they've been taken at different distances and um, I would have thought the closer you are the more detail you'll be able to pick up the further away you are you know that it's gonna um, things are gonna blob together but it's it's um, no less uh, interesting than the first one that we did so and like I always say if you're new to this um, you may find some of these images difficult to uh, to look at so um, I recommend pausing and just observing and trying to take it in so right have I right I've, okie doke right so if you remember the first one to to this one um, everything just seems a lot lot larger it's a bit um, and like I said with the cameras I think it's uh, Purely the distance, and uh, um, you're going to get different levels of um, detail and stuff like. That. But I think they went to town on this, and I had to heavily enhance it. So um, 
in regards to the surface detail we were getting on the the uh, the first photograph um, you're not getting on this and everything looks giant so not entirely sure what's going on but um, equally as uh, interesting and bewildering so I'll just show you I'll just show you this again I'm still trying to get my head around this one so uh, this one's a bit weird as well um, we to actually sort of see stuff a bit better we have to get in a bit closer so if you're unfamiliar with the channel um, what we've been looking at is um, or w one of the things we always look at are the f uh, familiarities between the various planets and moons um, and this is the same again um, with the platform areas and the terrace type um, layout um, so you may be having problems um, trying to understand this so I would recommend going to have a look at some of the earlier videos which give you um, you can see you know where we started and where we've got to in relation to um, trying to decipher how they put these images together what they do to them uh, the familiarities in the anomalies um, so it, it can be a bit confusing so I mean you've got to start somewhere so uh, I do recommend going and have a look at them and there's more research in action as well so and that gives you a uh, time to understand what what I am looking at so we'll have a quick blast around this and like I say you know pause it and um, just try and take it in and what I'm saying is um, these are all uh, structures And uh, the more you view it, the more you'll uh, be able to understand what I'm talking about and showing you, obviously. sure what size this is it doesn't say I forget I get so confused there, there, there's so many so many places I'm looking at so where are we Uranus is a Uranus moon do do excuse my uh, stupidity So if I spot some stuff, oh, which I just did, which I've lost again, um, then we'll zoom in and have a look and see if, see if you can make uh, sense of it. So you can see the mass amount of blurring that was in this area retrieved a fair amount here um, but it's uh, been quite difficult this is why it's quite dark in areas as well in, in relation to um, this um, I suppose I could uh, 
have another go at that but to actually get anything out of it the method I use for the enhancement um, I've just had to hit it really hard um, to pull anything out of some unusual stuff here and here. But it's like uh, like I always say the uh all the photographs are um, different and you have to treat them differently once you've been doing it for a while it's um, the the photograph tells you what to do with the tools basically So even this area here, this um, very bleached out area, if you look closely, this is the area we'll be having a look at in a minute. But you can see all these little lines and stuff, and that's what you have to look for. But this has been blown up as well, so you'd have to blow it up before. Um, and you can see blurred sections, which are softer looking. see the difference so it's a big mishmash of um, just trying to throw your eye into different places or bleaching it out for a start so you can see some unusual stuff happening here and this is in that bleached out area and for those of you who are familiar, um, if we look at, take this area here, it's one of those platform areas, but it's in more of a cross shape. This is the area on top, and that is the shadow of the structure on the top. And you can see it move down. You might see it in different ways, but it's all, it's quite obvious sort of the way the shadows are cast and stuff. It is to me anyway. Here. Yeah. Just make that a bit smaller. So this, uh, where are we? Here. Yeah. Two little towers sticking out. Here's another one. There's another one here. see it in the original image but like I said I've had to really really enhance this to pull it out maybe a bit too much see how it all relates to the original image so it's like I've said before um, don't be fooled by image, you can't see anything in. You can uh, can always get something out of these images. I think I've only ever found a couple which you can't find anything. I mean, I've got hundreds of them. Um, but I try and show you the stuff which you're going to be able to make some sort of sense out of. Um, Yeah. 
you know, you see so much stuff which is just... It's hearsay, and like I've spoken before, I don't know what order you're going to be hearing things in, but I've been, been having a bit of a rant lately, and, uh, you know, if there's nothing that isn't that obvious, or, or people are not going to get their head around, without you putting ideas in the, to their heads, then um, I don't think it's worth it. So you can see the layout. That's a familiar thing that everything is connected and you can sort of see a definite line of construction here. But let's have a closer look. We will have a little bit of a play with this. And this is something you'll definitely have to pause and have a look, about, look at. It's different. You might even have to stand the other side of the room and look at the screen. And this is the thing. Different levels um, of um, zoom in uh, reveal different, different things. So, the, it, you know, it's, it's different. it depends how you look at stuff as well. I mean, is, is that a reflection of a, a crater or... It certainly looks like it of sorts. But it's not a crater though. Here's another small thing sticking up. So let's just see what that is on the original map. It's quite mad. triangular platform with a, a small something sticking out of it I was look I was looking at um, do that in a minute there's two more there see them They're going away from us. It's the top, the top. That is the platform. Well, like I was saying, I was going to say, this area down here, um, and we've looked at this before, and we've seen it, and it's been the been the lines in the in the uh, makeup of the the photo which has produced these lines. But looking at it, the more I looked at this, the more it looks like it's part of the uh, construction. I'm not entirely sure, um, but it certainly looks like it because it doesn't run through the rest of the image. Um, but we do know that the, the edges of images can be very distorted and blurred. So let's 
so let's just have a look at there see if I can pull anything out of that but it's weird because the closer you get the more it does look like that these are this is the actual shape that it it follows serrated, segmented, um, almost stepped, but it finishes here. So we don't know if the whole image is like that and this has just been completely blurred out or vice versa. It's a, it's a bit of a strange one. Yet again, very, very busy. So much going on. It's confusing to uh, decipher it visually. Um, if that makes any any sense. see this square area here a strange looking plate on there This looks odd. It's almost like a. Let's see. Does it look like it's got a spire on the top? Like a hollow platform. Like a dome. Maybe something sticking out the top. I don't know what that is there.
can just about see the black bit behind it. You can just about see. The uh, oops. Shiny top. But is it? It's a difficult one to work out. It's another round one. Something on top. But call that one the Eiffel Tower. Or the mosque, if you don't include that bit. It's just one of those images that you just you're gonna have to study. I think I've actually done this uh, too dark, but it's uh, it's unfortunately where I had to get to 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 pull any of this uh, stuff out. So here are two more. Two more things that look. Like these are the tops. But it is difficult to say. A small one here. So if, if you have watched all, um, all the other videos, um, you'll know how, how frequently we see these things. Um, I'm just wondering the significance of them. What are they? I mean, they're, whoever's building this stuff, um, be they us and them and, and the others and whoever it is, uh, they're, uh, they're very popular. I can't even remember how big this moon is, but I think it's around, I'm not sure, I can't remember. It's around about 300 or it's the 900 one, I can't remember if that was rear or, or here. those of you who are doing this, um, I think maybe I should have uh, done this in a slightly different way, but I think it's interesting enough. It 
it does look a lot darker than when I um <laughs> before I started the uh the video so I don't know if I hit something by mistake but hey it doesn't matter so what I was gonna show you this is where we might get into difficulties I want you to try and relate something um, to the other map so if we look here um, what I did I picked these points we got that and then two three here and then I chose that area so I did a little bit of work on on this just to see what we could find you see the difference in the in the in the detail so quite mad so this was the area we were looking at um, which is this area and we can see a few domes and there's a bit of a a uh, square edge to this. Now we've got to understand what it's completely different um, distances and angles and stuff. So let's go back to here and have a look at the area. So we've got one, two, three. So to me Yeah, that's the exposure is too heavy on that. Okay. And that was the. Uh, I'm just trying to get some relation uh, between. So this is the squarish area and then we have some platforms and some bits on there's another one here I think the other one is too dark anyway I'm, I'm sure you're getting the idea so if we go back to this one there is very little resemblance So I can see it's one, two, three, four, five possible platforms with little bits sticking out the top. It's one, two, three, four, five, maybe there. Didn't work out exactly how I was uh, how I planned but uh, there we go that's what you get for rushing things but it's uh, very interesting to do see if you can find exactly the, the, the same stuff but like I say I think I've over over enhanced this one 
that's the top of that bit and we have this wasn't planning on doing this but uh, we've got to have a look oh we're not going to see it it's not going to be in the image what about this which looks like a platform the possible couple of things sticking out same area we were looking at. Sorry about that. It seems the areas we're looking at I haven't uh, enhanced yet. But this is quite cool. This looks like a big, something big sticking out with a triangular top on it. See that? So that is more over in um, this area. There's, uh, there's a lot of them. I'm intrigued now. Now I should have thought about that exercise a little bit better. But hey, there we go. Um, very weird sorry it's a bit of a mess um, happens sometimes um, but I hope you're getting something out of it and this clearly looks uh, constructed um, and like I say if you're new to this and I haven't bored you and you're, you're still listening um, go and have a look at the other videos um, and uh, it will make a lot more sense so okay as usual guys uh, thanks a lot and uh, i'll see you soon